All right, welcome everyone. This is uh, Black Rock Mountain A Hearthstone Adventure Card Review Part 1, which is the first 17 cards. We'll do the last 14. Um, hopefully we can have some good guests then as well. Um, but for now we have uh, Faramir and, and uh, Trollin joining us. Hey guys, how's it going? Either one of you. That's alright. I guess uh, it's fine. They're both tired. They're yeah, both tired, so... Both it's, go, it's going and... fine. It's going fine though. It's still, it's <laughs> early in the morning. So. Okay, so both our rear and children are um, sleep deprived right now. So anyway, we'll slog through it. <laughs> okay, uh, let's just get right into it. There's 17 cards. A lot of them have to do with dragons. Um, and first card right there, Axe Flinger. It's a warrior card, four mana, two five. And it says, whenever this minion takes damage, deal two damage to the enemy hero. Thoughts. I'm gonna go first, Jordan. No, I can make... go first because I'm not gonna have that much insight. So I, I guess this card is pretty bad. The stats are below average, I guess, for four mana, and then the ability which deals two damage whenever the the axe flinger takes damage it reminds me of some like kind of weird uh, OTK combo maybe. Like you would enrage something something the Axe Flinger then deal as much damage as possible with some kind of combo warrior, but I don't think this card is getting too much play. Yeah, I, I gotta agree here. It's like two five for four is uh is okay. Yeah. It's not it's not that great. Like you have like the okay notify or whatever that's that's decent as well, like two five. But like I don't know, it just doesn't synergize at all with like what the warrior does, right? Like it doesn't synergize with the hero power at all. Um you, you don't want to play aggressive with warrior, at least not with the like normal archetype, so um yeah. It's not even that good for for an OTK deck, because that, that's four mana you're spending. And then you need like let's say you deal like three damage, four damage to that minion. And it's only eight damage, so it's like I don't know, it's not that that great. Like, let's say you enrage it, like charge it, whatever, and then you do like uh, like you do like four damage to your opponent extra if you like double inner rage it. That's I like, that's should mention thing. something though, that the theme of the expansion so far has been random board damage. So there are creatures that deal board damage and uh, this might be good if there are so many creatures that are being played in, in a similar way. Uh, okay. And but like blast mage for example, it's it's kind of a good contra to a blast mage if you think about it. Yeah, there's a card coming up that's like does two damage to all undamaged enemy minions, and it's like if you hit this guy, now you're doing two damage to yourself as well. Um, one thing I was gonna say is that Blizzard is or Hearthstone, the Hearthstone team I guess, is trying to I think make it so that all uh, the classes have viable options going, you know, mid range control or whatever. Um, and then they they kind of introduced like for instance in the last in a uh, GBG they gave priests a really like kind of aggro card, um, and you saw, you saw stuff like where sometimes people combined you know GBG cards with um, stuff like uh, or stuff in the next pack that didn't get you know much play, but if you combine it with the GBG it ends up being really good. So I think like eventually uh, Warrior might be good as like an aggro. They can play like an aggro, but um, I think this is like the first step towards it. But right now it's just not gonna work. I don't think. <laughs> it might, might oh. be like good as a defensive card against Blast Mage, I guess. It just, like, yeah. gets, you know, if, like, if it gets a hit like four times, you take eight damage from your own Blast Mage. It's not that great. Oh Do you see, I made the worst mistake ever. I posted uh, the link to the stream on all social media as possible. And then I did that on the Russian one and said, don't take over the chat. That's, <laughs> uh, that's like the worst thing I should have said, probably. <laughs> Now okay. your chat is doomed. Oh my god. That's fine. Okay. Yes. Uh. Alright, so let me spend enough time on the Xplayer. Let's get to the next one. Alright, next card. Blackwing Corruptor. It's a 5-4 five, for 5 mana neutral card. And its battle cry is if you're holding a dragon, uh, deal 3 damage. So it's basically like kind of a slightly weaker fire elemental, which is like Shaman's quote unquote broken card, but it only activates if you have a dragon. So. Um, yeah. I, we should mention that other than the dragons in that are coming up with Black Rock Mountain, it's like there's not that many dragons really. It's like it's Fairy Dragon, uh, Azure Drake, Twilight, um, Drake. Twilight Drake, and then like all the nine mana 
Um, Let's bring up Drake's real like quick. I can bring it up. I can bring it up on my on my client. Wait a second. We have like Twilight Azure. Yeah, Twilight Azure, you... Fairy Dragon, oh, and then all the nine mana legendaries, and then Deathwing, and then and then other than that, all the Drakes are in this in this uh, expansion. Oh, if I, if I if I go with Dragon, it actually shows fucking Boulevard because it's called Four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have like Fairy. It's not well, that many. It's like the thing is like is Whelps Sarah, work Sarah too. Dead. Sorry, uh, Whelps work too, but you can't hold a Whelp in your hand unless it gets bounced back. So, and the most Whelp? these are like. Yeah, like a dragon one. From Leroy? Yeah, um, from Leroy or from the dragon egg later on. No, they're from Leroy or no, have no type. Oh, they don't? Okay. No, no, they don't. Well, I know the I know the whelps from the dragon egg or, or dragon, so. Anyway, oh, yeah, okay. So, thoughts on this guy? Um, He's good. Oh, what did I just do? Oh, never mind. Okay, good. Sorry. You think it's good? Yeah, I it's, think it's a really good. good part. Like, a lot of people evaluate if the mechanic of holding dragon is good enough. Because you reveal that you have a dragon, but if you build a really dragon-based deck, it's gonna be pretty obvious that you have dragon somewhere in your hand or in your deck. So I don't think it's much of a downside that you're revealing something in your hand. You're not actually revealing the card; you're just revealing that you have a dragon, and the, then the opponent has to decide which one it's gonna be exactly. Well, the the one of the problems that I've been thinking of is that there haven't been that many dragons so far, so it might be obvious at some stages of the game which card exactly you're holding. But the battle cry, deal 3 damage is really good. And even the even though that the stats are worse than on Fire Elemental, I think it's still really good because it's not a class card. I don't think it's going to see much play in Shaman for obvious reasons, but in all the decks, um, it might be really good. Yeah, when, the, when, the, when that card first came out, or like first... It got revealed, I guess. I thought it was very terrible because, like, with the dragons we have so far, it's not that great. Like, if you hold, like, the only really playable dragon right now is like Alex Straza and like Azure Drake, I guess. But Twilight Drake. But the more I thought about that card, it's actually like if dragon gets someone somewhat viable. Like, if you just said like one or two dragons, and like that are get getting standard in like every deck. Then that card can be really powerful. Like it reminds me of Bomb Lover, but you can like it has better stats and you can direct the damage like three damage. So I actually really like that card. Might be stronger than, than I initially thought, especially when there are new dragons and you might be able to like even see like the old dragons. Like but Nixia is not a terrible card, but like it never stood out over the other cards. So it might be. And cards like an XRC more play now that we have cards like Blackwing or whatever. So, yeah, I don't. I really like. It's an interesting card. We'll we'll see how much, how much play it sees. I think it's really relatable like to Filament. We have like, Filament is a six five. It's the same stats as Lord of the Arena. Like Lord of the Arena is a garbage card for six mana, but like you have the same thing for five mana spot, right? It's like five four like Woody Bay Bodyguard. So it's it's really like pretty much the same here. Just the Great yeah. battle cry, so yeah. I think that it's just really highly dependent on how good the dragons are. And I think some of the dragons are pretty viable, as we'll see uh, coming up in just the cards that are been released so far. Like, as long, as long as you can get, you know, six or so dragons in your deck, like viable dragons that can be, that aren't just bad by themselves. Uh, you don't want to just like shove dragons in your deck just just for the sake of it, right? I think in that sense, like in that case, this card would be really good. And then having a dragon in your hand is kind of a big deal. Like, yeah, it's kind of sucks if you top deck this card. Um, and you have nothing in your hand, right? Like in the arena or whatever. But um, if yeah. uh, like by turn five, like the fact that you only have to hold the dragon, you don't you don't need like something on the board, you know, is really important think, because yeah, you can, I, like on turn five, it could just okay, this it could just swing, you know, the board super quickly. I think this might be a, a, a paladin card or a voyeur card. Like that kind of card reminds me of those class. Like paladin, for instance, needs, needs something like. Uh, like the three damage directed to decent minions. removal, like, you think? Yeah, just single target removal. Like they don't yeah. have that many. Like it's only true silver, and that's pretty much it. They have like Aldor, but what about yeah, that's hammer a single target removal. On. Yeah, exactly. Like <laughs> hammer wrath, just viable, right? Like you could play like something like you know Nixia and Paladin or Ysera maybe, and maybe some of the new cards. So 
Yeah, I think that could be like a Paladin or a Boyer card. Yeah, I think this card's really interesting, but we need to kind of move on. All right, next one. Yeah. Blackwing Technician is a 2-4 for 3. Um, it's Battlecry. If you're holding a dragon, gain plus 1, plus 1. And my initial thoughts are exact same thing as the other one. It's like, if you can manage to build a deck with enough dragons where the dragons, or they stand alone, are good, then this card is all of a sudden, like, really, really annoying. Like, how do you kill a 3-5 for 3 mana as, like, a rogue? You know, it's like, it's just so annoying. Anyway. Go ahead, guys. Um, I don't think there's much to talk about this card. It's just really good, and then if uh, if the dragon decks become viable, then everyone's gonna play in a dragon deck. That's it. It's like a Mac Warfer mage. No, it's not like a Mac Warfer, but like you like know, the you play Town Technician, deck. kind of. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you just play it, and that's it. It's just like more beefy yeah. though. So it's like. If you get the three five stats for three, that's really really good. Like it's a teacher or, I don't know, send like it's engine or like it's a really good stat for three mana if you get it off. If you even if you not get it off, it's like two four, which is not terrible. It's like growth tender or frothing berserker, so it's it's not that terrible of a card. That might see play. I I think that's a that's a card for a, a late game class just to stabilize the board early, like. If you have something like a like a high, uh, like a high curve with the uh, dragons in the late game, then you should definitely play Blackwing Technician so you can get that out early. Just get the board like stalled so you can play your late game minions. So yeah, I really like that card. We'll see how, mu how much play it see, like it sees. I don't think it's gonna be very good in like aggro decks. I think it's an like, rather an anti aggro card. It could be kind of like tempo though. Like, say you curve up perfectly with a uh, technician, and then you have, you know, there's another card where it's like it was like a six four six dragon, which gets smaller if you trade and stuff, and then it can kind of snowball from there potentially if you get like the perfect hand. Um, yeah. But yeah, I think these I think these last two cards, black ring corruptor and black ring technician, it's like it might almost like prompt people to just shove dragons in their deck just because like they can be so swingy. I feel like. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. All right, let's go next one. Core Rager. It's a hunter card. Um, it's a four four for four, and its battle cry is: If your hand is empty, gain plus three plus three. So this is the first time there's like a if your hand is empty card, or if you have like less cards, but other than like divine favor. Um, if so... your hand is empty, it dies to EGH. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I think uh, there is not much to say about this card. I think it's gonna be good in arena because you often end up. Not having enough card draw and just top decking stuff in top deck mode. And you won't always have an answer there to this kind of stuff. So it might be good there, but in in uh, constructed, no, I'll never see this card play. Unless there is something that gives you a beast a charge. But like maybe later on. <laughs> you play uh, this no, wait, right now. Wait, but you. Yeah. Yeah, like, but if. I was thinking Nightmare that combo. There, might be, there might be a card that gives a beast a charge, but then I realized you have to have this card in your hand, and then this won't activate the yes. battle cry, so it's kind of oh. shit. <laughs> you have to play it first, and then you have to play the card that you draw on that turn, plus that card now. Like, that is, you, have to, you have to tap yeah. like Tundra Rhino, and then you have to tap like this card, and then you have to be a monster or yeah. something like that, <laughs> so it's impossible. And, and I may next turn, it's... It's fine. Yeah, I think it's just right. It needs to live. Right. It just doesn't have enough um, impact as a card to put in your deck. I think the only time this card will be good is if you get a web spinner, and then like I can, I can tell you, I, I can tell you like the knowledge that Blizzard put in this card. They were like, okay, hunters are OP. Let's make the shittiest card possible, <laughs> so that never anyone uses this. And yeah, that's it. Well, let's not forget about Buzzard. Like they already have the shittiest card possible. Right? That card, yeah, that card isn't terrible. Like it reminds me of like Master of the Skies, which is like a four, 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 but never gets played because it's not, not like not fitting in the in, like in the decks that you yeah. want to play. And like the two hunter class that are running right now, right now is the face hunter and the the aggro, uh, the face hunter and the mid range hunter. Mid range hunter always wants to like have have some kind of a hand so they have options. So that card isn't really good. And Face Hunter, um, that card just isn't effective enough. Even if it's a seven seven, it's it's easy to remove because of BGH and like you you're not gonna like empty your hand by turn four, so it gets like most effectiveness uh, like 
most of the time you want to kill your opponent on like turn six, turn seven anyway, so you don't have to don't have the time to play that card. So yeah. I don't think it fits in the archetypes of Hunter right now. Yeah, basically your best case scenario is you know maybe turn seven or something. You you spend your last three mana card and you toss it out, and then you have like a kind of cool turn, and then they BGH it, and you're like very sad. All right, so that's enough about that. Uh, let's get on to the next one, which is the Dark Iron Skulker. It's a rogue card. And it's a battle cry deal two damage to all undamaged enemy minions. Oh, I forgot it's a four three, so a little bit um, kind of weak for its uh, for its cost, but kind of a crazy battle cry. What do you guys think? Um, I guess this this one's yeah. Well, you'll have to go ahead and play with it, I guess, a little bit to really evaluate how much value you're gonna get every time you you play it and get the battle cry out. But if you think about it, Consecration deals 2 damage to all the minions for 4 mana. It's a and class then... card, right? It's a rogue card, yeah. Yeah, it's a rogue card, yeah. So it's kind of like Consecration, but you get a 4-3 buddy with it. So it's, it's, like good. Holy, it's like Holy Nova. I don't like the card. I think uh, it's too expensive for rogue. It doesn't fit in the rogue decks that I play right now. Rogue doesn't have a problem with the small AoE minions. They have problems with big beefy minions. They don't have, they don't have uh, good answers with them other than sap. So, um, yeah, Rogue doesn't struggle right now with the, with, like, like with getting overwhelmed by two HP minions, on turn five. Like they just poison Fury or like Talos fan or whatever. They, they have a lot of ways to deal the AoE damage. So I don't really like the card, especially like the like if the body would have been a little better, you could consider it. But like it's a four three. That's like a Kazan Mystic, and Kazan Mystic is four mana and it's really bad already. So for like the stats. <laughs> so yeah, I mean like Kirin Tor is four three and it costs three mana and you get an upside. So I, I don't see the card being good. Yeah, but like Kirin Tor, like you have to play another spell, so you're kind of you're, you're getting a huge tempo but advantage. You get but a, this is get, this is like value advantage. Three, yeah, like Kirin Tor is four three and like you use six mana on turn three. It's like, and that card is just five mana with a shitty body, and like maybe you get a backstab on a couple of minions. So it's yeah, it does have the like, it does have the answer synergy with uh with backstab. Oh, but there's there's something you could maybe include one in a rogue deck and go like Skulker prep uh flurry and just like kill like pretty much any board. Um, yeah, but then you need to consider that your opponent's board might already be damaged. Like yeah. imagine there's like a, a Belcher that's like a three four and like oh play that card. Like, <laughs> play around oh. the Skulker. <laughs> um Great. I don't know, I think it's I think it's interesting. Um I do agree that the, the body is just too small. Uh, it's hey. just like too much of a hit too. Like I mean, for five mana, if it was like four mana, four three, the beak. Like, although if you think about yeah, it, it was four that mana, would be four, OP, it'd be broken. Yeah, it'd be broken. Mm. So it's kind of like no, I, w I still wouldn't think so with four mana. Like, you you have to think about the the drops that come up against it. Like five drops. You have like the main five drop is like Belcher, so it's pretty bad against Belcher. I guess it trades like one for like I guess it's not one for one because you have the because you have the. Um, uh, you have the slime, but um, oh, okay. yeah, it's like that's a common five drop Belcher. Then you have uh, Azure Drake, Harrison, whatever. So yeah, it's not that great against the minions that come up. Like one slot higher, you have like Shield Maiden and stuff. So it's really not not that great. Like uh, of course the dream is against like a zoo with a bunch of three twos on turn five, but when, no, when is that ever gonna happen? So I think it'd be really good in arena. Um, yeah, just have a card yeah, that like wrecks, wrecks your opponent's board. It's kind of like a. Maybe. It's like a. Also, you have to think about it. Like this is the only card that does like straight AOE, like consistent AOE damage across the board. Um, that's a minion other than Flame Leviathan. Like there's no like for, for instance Blast Mage only, like hits randomly, you know. So this is like a -bomb. one. Of the, uh, oh yeah, a bomb. But that that's a death rattle, so it's a little bit different. It can be silenced. Um, so I think it might. This like it seems like it's kind of like on the the same. Sorry? Baron Geddon. Oh, Baron Geddon, you're right. Well, that's uh, after the turn, so screw you. Not a bell card. <laughs> what, what if, what if Anixia gets silenced. played? <laughs> what if Anixia gets played all the time? And oh, that that, like, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, like, countered by the Skulker Eviscerate as no, my 7 inch on turn no, 10. No, Skulker... <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> but I think... Like, yeah, I, I kind of agree that's kind of like on the 
right now it seems like it could be weak, but I think it maybe has potential and like there could be there could be like a strange meta where it could become like really strong, I think. Um, I, but it I has think to be the you right underestimated by the way, Faramir, but we will have to see because you know someone's. I, I just I remember it lying... in the rogue decks right now. Like if it yeah, would be there might be some kind of new rogue deck, you know. Everyone was saying that oil is not going to fit in any rogue deck, but then there is an oil prep. rogue now. <laughs> but there's like, wait, it's like we have prep. Oops, <laughs> it's so good. Yeah. Prep Street was just like always around, but it's just worse than Auctioneer Prep. So now Auctioneer is bad, so Prep Sprint got better. So yeah, we'll see, I, I guess. Auctioneer. But... Auctioneer, uh, Auctioneer won Orange uh, Katowice, so yeah. anyway, right. with double Auctioneer. Okay, let's anyway. go next, because we don't have much time. Okay. All right. Dragon Egg. Uh, one mana zero two. Whenever this minion takes damage, summon two on Um I heard like I haven't really watched anyone else's like reviews, but I heard like Trump say for like one second like this card is amazing, but I completely disagree. What do you guys I think, think it's bad. <laughs> yeah, I think it's bad too. Um, how you can't force it to take damage unless you buff it. Uh, you're probably only gonna get one a two one out of it anyway. Um, yeah, I like Dragon Egg better. So you like playing egg. one drops. You like playing one drops too, so kind of like maybe play, threat play something. It. Play like one infiltrator, it's the same thing. It's kind a, of. You get, you get, it's a two one, for one mana, pretty much. Yeah, but like, still, so you can actually attack something with it. If the two, the two upsides are like if it if it dies, a we have a two one, which is basically the same as a harvest golem. <laughs> and if you uh, if you buff it and kill what? something, you have a two one left over. It's like yeah, it's but, kinda like but think. Upside. Think of the AOEs that are, that are there. They have like Consecrate, you have Fan and Knives, you have Flurry. It's always yeah, like they're, they're, <laughs> they're not cards. They're not cards you play around like turn four, turn five. So like you're yeah, gonna have a two, one, well, you're gonna play that card turn three, four, or one even, and then you're gonna get a two, one, well, on like turn five. It's like, yay, die the hero power. It's like, yeah, I, uh, I have to agree. Ruby I don't think is it's so much good. better. Also, one thing to keep in mind is that um, it's it's a it's not a dragon, and the two one whelp isn't in your hand, which is like a lot of these dragon base cards. Like you have to have the dragon in your hand, so it doesn't help that either. We haven't so, seen all of the cards, so but yeah, so there might, this, might, might, this be might be good. But right, not so yet. <laughs> so far, thumbs down. Anyway, let's go to the next one. Dragonkin, sorcerer. It's a three five. Is that a neutral or is that a? It's a neutral. Yeah. Common. Neutral one. It's yeah. a neutral. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's a 3-5 for 4. Whenever you target this minion with a spell, gain plus 1, plus 1, and it's a dragon. So, I like uh, this card, because it promotes the buffing style of play. Maybe it's going to be good in a priest deck or a defiled deck where you can buff the card. Maybe you can play uh, cards that you haven't used before, like that one card that draws another card as a paladin every time your minion attacks. Maybe That's that one's going to be playable. Yeah, like, if you think about it, this card is pretty interesting because it allows you more, like, it promotes more play styles. And even if it's not legit and not viable in this meta or whatever meta comes next, you might be good in the future, so I like it. Yeah, I, I like... This This card is really interesting. You have, like, the 3-5 stats is pretty standard for a 4-mana card, so that's good. But... The card that rem like that this card reminds me of is the Burly Rock Trot Rock. It's really similar to that. It's like sure you have a you have a synergy with something when when the spell hits that, but like if a spell hits that, like is it only when you you yourself hit the, the minion with a spell or like You I'm yourself. Not, yeah. yeah. So like there's not many many classes that buff their minions with spells if you think about it. It's like you have like a rock biter from shaman maybe then you have like the only real class is paladin so like i, I can think of so i don't priest really know with i think, I, think priest is I guess i guess it's not bad of a priest card actually if you have like you have shield you have chosen yeah what about warrior by the way card. with cards warrior like does... in a rage uh, maybe in charge and something like that charge <laughs> seven yeah. mana what, wait what would it turn into it yeah, it's kind of yeah, like a seven, seven, five. Yeah, great. Um, <laughs> so they, seven, six. They go all in seven. Seven, um, six. <laughs> no, I think the thing I'm looking at the biggest or the most though is that it's a dragon, and it's like it's like a not bad 
body, right? It's like a four mana three five, and it allows your other guys, um, the Blackwing yeah. Corruptor and the Blackwing Technician, to be OP. You know? Yeah, it could be synergized with those cards. Yeah, that's true. So that's like, I don't hate that card as a four five as a as a four mana card just from the stats, and yeah, maybe like could be a piling card. I I actually can really see it as a priest card to be honest. Like. It's a good drop. Like Priest doesn't have that many good four drops right now. They're playing Shredder, Organized, so that could be a pretty good card for Priest, to be honest. So, yep. Yeah, so could could be it. solid because of the dragon stuff, and could be solid because if with the uh, Priest because of the yeah, just yeah, just see like stuff. play Power with Shield, plus one plus two, or plus one plus three even. So, yeah, it's so not four, four, eight, four, pretty five good mana, pretty good. Yeah, pretty good shield. All right, let's go to the next one. Dragon's Breath. It's a mage card. Deal four damage. Cost uh, one less for each minion that died this turn. If you think about the math on this, I my like when you think about the math enough, it's like it just doesn't seem very good. But uh, what, um, what are you guys' thoughts? I thought it's not really good, but then I saw the, the another card, the three that we could probably gonna review if we have time. The six six four, which oh, yeah, costs yeah, yeah. one less for every yeah. minion that's died that turn. So I think if there's something, some kind of synergy that works that way, this card might actually be pretty good. Uh, I mean, not like super good, but you can still play it and rely. Like if you flame strike a board, for example, and you have a leftover minion, you kill it with a dragon's breath, and then you play that dragon, and then you immediately have a six-four body on the board and all the answers. If you kind of think about it that way. I kind of but... like the dragon more than this guy though, because it's like, like say you ki if you kill one thing, now you're doing four for four, which is like a yeah, well, strike. Yeah, why not both? You kill two like, things. You can play both. <laughs> I think I think there's like kind of synergy where you can play both, but I think that like I just like the other one more in general. Anyway, what are your what are your thoughts, Faramir? Yeah, the th this card, if you think about it, it's not terrible. Terrible. It's not like a Cobra shot terrible, but <laughs> sit up, Faramir. Um... <laughs> Faramir, you're falling asleep. <laughs> Oh, it, no, it took me like a few I'm seconds thinking. to remember. It took me a few seconds to remember what Cobra Shot is. Cobra so. Shot, deal three damage to me. Yeah. Cobra Shot's horrible. Uh, Let's not I, compare this Cobra Shot. Yeah, it's a terrible card. So, <laughs> this is like let's, just, let's just think about it. Like the like the things that need to happen for this card to be good is there, there needs to be a big board. There needs to be uh, like your, your opponent's minions and to be your minions, and they need to trade. That means like. You have to have a big board, then you trade minions, like, let's say you trade, like, two minions, that just, like, probably means, like, three to four minion die, so that card costs, like, one mana, two mana, maybe, and deal four damage, then you can kill another card. Like, sure, maybe together with the Drake, it could be, like, a cute mage deck, um, but, like, that kind of mage deck would have to go for really, really big swing turns. So you have, would have to play from behind a while, and then you have to go for a swing turn. I don't think like a, the Drake is good enough for that. It's like you have like a four four health minion for like I don't know. Do you like do it in like turn six, seven around there with the dragon's breath, whatever? It's like it's not that great. And and if you don't like that's normally on a on a turn, like, two minions die like on average. Let's say like you most of the time you like trade. Like, trade, get the board back, then your opponent gets the board back. So, like, one to two minions die every turn. And then that card costs, like, three three mana for four damage. And I would just rather play a Frostbolt or just a Flame Cannon or something like that. Fireball is just better. So, I don't really like that card that much, to be honest. Yeah, the, the main spells are already, like, OP. We don't really need Dragon's Breath. Uh, we had a comment in the chat where they said, like, maybe you could use it in Freeze Mage to have extra burn. But you're probably giving up some sort of Freeze. Um, so yeah, maybe you're not someone killing can... that many minions with with freeze mage in a turn. Like yeah, the only no. turn you really kill minions is like your flame strike turn. Then you don't need like the four damage randomly just like throw out his face like oh cool I have four damage that yeah. are otherwise pretty useless. I so. assume it's just to have just to use it for its full cost to just have the extra damage. But uh, yeah, I don't. I just this might maybe someone can innovate some innovate something. But um, I just don't think that like. Like and for an example, if you're trying to kill them, then your your minions are attacking phase two, and then, so then you you can't really trade and go phase. Um, yeah, or... like this is this is what I think about the card. Like, it, I don't think it's gonna be playable, but I kind of want it to be playable because <laughs> that would be cool. Because of like mechanic, yeah. All right, let's yeah. go to the next one. Also, also the the like the card looks really cool. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. Uh, that, I imagine that it's gonna have like the same fire animation in the game. Yeah, probably like it. I don't know. All right, just to make people play it. Um, all right, so uh, our next one is Draconid Crusher. 
Um, I think that's how I pronounced it. And it's yeah. um, it's a dragon's neutral card. And the battle cry is, if your opponent has 15 or less health, gain plus 3, plus 3. Oh, I forgot to mention, it's a 6, 6 for 6. I think I think it's a poor person's Gromash. It's like, you play Gromash <laughs> and then you activate somehow. And then you, if you don't have Gromash, you can play this card and then play Charge. Just play Charge. <laughs> it's like Gromash, task, yeah, so, it's Gromash Taskmaster for 9 mana, if you think about it. Like, so play yeah, and your like, opponent is low, 12. Yeah, 12 damage. 11, 6. You deal like 11 damage for 9 mana. Oh. No, no, it's 11, 9. Yeah. It gets plus 3, plus 3. And I don't think it charges. Isn't charge 3 attack? 2 attack, I think. Yeah, 2 I attack. Mean, let me check. Charge. Who is the pro here? Armir? I don't yeah. have that card. Who plays that card? Come on. <laughs> I do. <laughs> All the ridiculous combos. Come on. Where is you charge? Play. Do you even have that card? 3 mana. Oh. Uh, Two damage, and then, uh, yeah. Oh, I think you're getting mixed oh, up yeah, with yeah. three mana. To that oh, yeah, it's two mana. Yeah, it's two attack. So it's like 11 mana. Uh, 11 damage, I guess. Dragon yeah, 11, 11, 11 damage for nine mana. It's not terrible. Like, yeah, I, 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 I read somewhere, Dragon and Crusher, if your opponent has 15 or less health, uh, put yeah. uh, yeah. kill yourself and put BGH on the next <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> like the BGH, exactly. Uh, I just feel like double BGH is gonna get standard again. Yeah. Like, what if? I don't know. What if you just have this? Okay, but let's think about the dragon possibilities. Like, is a six six for six good enough? Um, and what if you have just a bunch of like, you just fill your early game with a bunch of removal, like warrior. You have like some uh, late game dragons in there, and this is one of your dragons. And then you know they've already they've already BGH rag. They've already BGH something else. Now you're like, okay, nine nine. How do you deal with this one? Hmm. Yeah, like 6-6 six, six or 6 isn't terrible stats, it's like a Temple Enforcer, so like, you can kind of compare it to Temple Enforcer, you get like a buff as a battle cry, so yeah, it's not a terrible card, but I don't think you would cut other cards for that card. Yeah, um, I think maybe, that's the biggest like, thing. I, I'm, maybe I'm just thinking too much about Void right now, but like a 6-6 six, six for 6 could be pretty good for a class like Shaman, could be good for a class like Paladin. Um, that that like struggle and like, you have Sylvanas that's pretty much a normal six drop right now, mm. and yeah, like nobody plays Karen. So yeah, it's um, weird by the way with all those cards. Like they most of them seem so situational and bad. Yeah, but in, that, that card is in black cross. It's... Yeah, it's just vanilla. It's not horrible. I think the so I kind of agree with what Farmer said. It's like it's not horrible, but it's like what would you take out to put this card in? And it's, it's like kind uh, of hard to figure. Playing. Yeah. Like, I think this card is gonna see play. Like I, I think this card is gonna see play, especially because it's a dragon. So it's also yeah. a viable dragon. So I think that could be uh, in combos with the cards we talked about earlier, like Blackwing Corruptor and Blackwing Technician. So I actually think this card is gonna see play because the stats aren't horrible, and you might like you even have an upside in the later game when your opponent is lower. So just to put on more pressure, like just. Imagine that card against Rogue. Like that card is crazy against Rogue. If you can break Rogue to fifteen, and then you just like play a nine nine for six mana, that's ter- like that's then they giant. So and then they sap you. Then they sap you. Just yeah. like play it again. <laughs> like six mana. Six mana is nine mana. You can always play something else with it. That's so um, sap heal, but oh countered. That's good. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's um, go for the next one. Okay. Anyway, I was gonna say that that card. It's just like I think the other dragons have to be bad for people to play to include that. Anyway, let's go to the next one. It's a mage card. Uh, is it a mage card? It's yeah. A mage card, right? It's a mage card. All right, flame walker. It's um, two, four, four, three. After you cast a spell, deal two damage randomly split among all enemies. This is a really good one. Like a really, really good card, I think. Card. Two damage is I don't yeah. know. Is two damage good? Yeah, I think it's good. It's like, it's like a knife juggler. It's like a shadow cool. boxer, but better. Yeah, yeah, I guess. You it can kind of reminds you of shadow boxer. Yeah. Like, what if you let's say you're behind, and then oh shit, I'm sorry. So what if you're behind, and then you somehow play this card, coin, and then play another spell, let's say arcane missiles. Yeah, like, it's pretty good. If they're good with this card, so you 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 deal. Four damage to everything on the board, and then three more with the spell. So I think this card might have a really, really strong impact on overall. Yeah, I think this card can have two uses. It's either good for like an aggro mage where you play arcade missiles and like stuff like mirror image, 
Or it can be good for, especially because that two damage can also go face. So it's like, even if your opponent doesn't have a minion, if you have that card with like coin and missiles or coin and mirror image, something like that, then that kind of uh, might uh, might be able to come back. And the other use it could have is uh, it could be a pretty good freeze mage card. Like if you play it on turn three and then play like a secret or arcade intellect, you know, just your opponent like spams little stuff. 2-4 isn't that easy to remove for 3 mana, so it might be able to, to stay on the board. Uh, it's like, just like spots like where normally an explosive sheep would be, maybe. So, I don't know, I don't hate that card. I don't see it in the current decks. I think there are better cards in the current decks. You have a Blast Mage, which is really good. Normally you don't need to remove um, with 3 mana, 4 mana. Like, it, like that card is... It's basically 4 mana, right? The effect is 4 mana because you have to play a spell. So, I think Blast Mage is just better on 4 mana right now. So Just run both. Yeah, we'll, <laughs> run, we'll all, run all the random RNG cards. Um, so, we had a comment in the chat that says, Coin Arcing Missiles is almost Avenging Wrath, which is pretty true. Three ma For 4 mana, or on your tur with the coin, you go yeah, Flamewalker, and then you go Coin uh, Arcing Missiles, and you shoot for you shoot 7 random oh, things. Shoot five, out. Dude, no, so the coin. Oh, I've got it. Sure, seven. Yeah, I guess that's so almost that's... Avenging Wrath. So you just like you just have Avenging Wrath and basically Avenging Wrath and. I guess if you think about it that way, it's not terrible. But yeah. Save mm -hmm. the coin, start doing dissing damage. Seven up. to the face. <laughs> <laughs> Coming in my next episode. Don't have minions, just face. <laughs> All right, next one is the Grim Patron. Uh, five mana, three three. Whenever this minion survives damage. Some another Grim Patron. Uh, I don't like it. Um, I, I think there is not much to say about this card. Like, bad and constructed, and maybe good in Arena if you're playing Mage. You can the play card this card, terrible. maybe. Maybe you can play that on Mage and then ping it every turn and spawn another guy. <laughs> another guy, another guy, another guy. Seven mana. Well, <laughs> play a Pyro Mass or play a spell. Like, get no, infinite. but if you think about it, like, maybe it's bad when you initially play it. Maybe it's bad when you first time ping it. But if you can snowball it from that point, it might get it might get scary. So they use two mana every turn to ping your own minion. It's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but like, it might work. If you go if you go this card and then pyromancer and like circle, you just make a bunch of wait. Do they do they cycle on top of each other? Does like yeah. or if like it, like the pin the patron the first patron that gets hurt does it hurt the next one too? Because no. like simultaneous. No 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 no. Like you only. For the one, but I know that if you play the bouncing blade, it, it every time it bounces, I think it's gonna spawn another guy. Yeah, but you're gonna the bounce, so you can get, but it can bounce into another guy. That's eight mana, eight mana for a bunch of. <laughs> yeah, but eight mana, you have like three twos across the board. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you have. Yes. You pay eight mana, and you like That's three great. twos and three ones. Right. Nice. <laughs> Dude, it's it's the new warrior muster for battle quartermaster. <laughs> Just compete. Just the shitty one. Yeah, you have three <laughs> twos across the board. Yes. You just get a weapon. That card is just plain awful. Like it's so easy to remove. It costs five mana. Dies to Belcher. Dies to Warax. Dies to every other five drop. Dies to four drops. Like dies to Teacher, Yeti, Senjin, whatever. Like it's just, I just wish it was three mana or four mana at least. That yeah, thing dies to whatever. Everything. I think it would be four mana for a class card, so that it could be like, because a lot of class cards are so OP, right? And they couldn't make a, a neutral card this OP. Like, just compare it to another five drop that is the three three, bomb lower. Bomb lower has <laughs> hard counter. <laughs> okay, that's enough. That's bomb enough. lower has a good battle cry. Like it's random, but it can remove like a Drake or whatever. But that card is just, and like okay. it, it's not even nice. if it take, it's not even if it takes damage to summon another one, because then it would be better. It's just like I like this passage in the chat. Flame Walker coin arcane missiles into opponent's grim patron. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, next one. Hungry Dragon, 4 mana, 5, 6. Uh, Battle Cry, summon a random 1 cost minion for your opponent. And it's a dragon. So it's um, it's basically like a pit lord, except instead of hurting yourself, you summon a 1 cost minion. Is it um, pit, lord? pit lord 4 mana? <laughs> I don't know. I thought it was I think five. So. Oh my god! I think, I think, I think it's four. I think it's four actually. Pit Lord is four mana. Yeah, it's four. It's four. It's four. I, have wow. to go. I, I don't hate it. Wait, Torlin, you have to go. 
Um, I, no, 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 in like uh, eight minutes. Eight minutes. Okay. Right. Well, well, I don't really want to like speed through it, so we could just you could just right. provide we your can opinions. Do the rest. We just can like do just the like rest. take off when you need to. Okay. Okay. But I'm a hungry dragon. Everyone was hyping it over, and I thought it was like the most OP card ever because it can get rid of one cost minion easily. But then I reevaluated it a little bit. I think a lot of uh, one cost minion up to uh, to attack, so they attack into your hungry dragon, and then uh, it turns out to be like a plain strider or whatever the whatever the minion called. Yeah. But uh, the downside is that if you play against Druid, for example, it, it's another minion he can play Savage Roar combo with. And uh, just generally giving your opponent a minion and then not killing it is a bad idea. Because he can attack with a minion on his turn and then he can't attack with 100 Dragon immediately. So I think the card is going to be playable in uh, decks with weapons, or you can play something some kind of weapon before it and then play Hungry Dragon and kill the minion that's going to be summoned mm -hmm. or a rogue with backstab or something something you you generally get the idea yeah what's what's worst case you play the thing on turn 4 there's play not that many like, good one drops really i'm trying okay let me just look devil or something let's go to uh okay we're going looking at hearthhead right now Probably actually like... there was there was a guy who made a statistics on on reddit which said that like you're screwed of the, most of 45 the percent of the time. Yeah, yeah. so it's like <clears throat> they're mostly one, two ones, and one twos. Cogmaster can be a three two. There's flame imp. There's Damn shield bear. Chow. Shield bear. <laughs> shield. You summon a shield bear. You can't get past it for a turn. <laughs> uh, zombie chow. Yeah. Uh, this case, you summon like a dust devil for a shaman. They just like double. Work <laughs> oh you, yeah, you that is the worst. The <laughs> they just go. <laughs> down. Oh my god, that would be hilarious. And you know what? It should be arena. Like it should happen in arena, and the guy hey, should have like three, video. three rogue should... fighters in his hand. Ah, and he gets a couple and he gets dust devil. There. Yeah, that yeah. that would be like perfect. Ten out of ten. Um, like, out there's of a six, lot of shitty. Like... There's a lot of shitty one drops. There's a reason why people don't play that many one drops. So, I think that card. Is worth the risk most of the time. Five yeah. six is pretty good for a drop. So you're usually gonna face I can see a lot of aggro decks. Yeah. And I wouldn't say that there are many shitty bad. one drops. Like even if you have two one, it's still like kind of good against this minion. And then a lot That's of people don't play one drops scenario, because though. it's not it's not enough to justify spinning one card, one additional yeah. card in your deck for playing it. So you're not actually putting the card in your deck. It it. Like just spawns in the uh, Okay, well, so what's, best, okay. What's, be what's best case for that? Like uh, Oracle or. Dust Devil. Dragon Egg. No, no like <laughs> best, best case for the dragon. Like if you play it, it's like Blood Imp maybe or. Oh, Blood Imp, yeah. Blood Imp's really uh, good. Secret Keeper. Se Don't Dust Boar. Like Grimskill Oracle or some shit. Hungry Crab. Hung Hung yeah. Crab, yeah. I guess it's like best case. Yeah, so, so we'll do I don't know. I think I think it's good enough. I think like the downside isn't good enough, or to um, I mean, yeah, I think not... it's I think it's good enough to be able to to just put it in your deck as a dragon. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, we'll see how many dragons like are worth it. Just to remove the already established cards because like the thing is, it's not gonna have immediate impact. That's like something you always have to look at. If like that thing is either sticky to the board or just. Like I like Shredder a little bit better than this card, because it's more sticky and you give an opponent less options. Mm. But yeah, the health might be, might be really important. So yeah, we'll see how it how it pans out. All right, next card is Imp Gang Boss. It's a Warlock card, two four for three mana. It's a demon, and whenever this minion takes damage, summon a one one Imp. Um, seems all right. So yeah, drop. especially with all the, all the random damage minions, I think it, it can. Oh be yeah, good. <laughs> I can counter that. Yeah. Yeah, as I said, like the the warrior card that deals to damage every time something, uh, something damages it. I think those kind of cards might see play, and we just we can't evaluate how good they are just because we haven't seen the rest of the cards. Maybe they're just gonna be straight up like deal random damage to random minions. So, who knows? Yeah. Again, that card 
it's not terrible from the stats. I think it's going to be a good arena card, but I just don't think it's good enough to cut another card for it. Like, yeah, that's the weirdest thing is that like War Warlock is just um, they have these really kind of uh, extreme archetypes, right? You have like Zoo on one end, and you have like Handlock on the other end, and like kind of sort of Demon Lock. And where's yeah, this card Demon faded? Lock right now. Yeah, Demon Lock. Yeah. Now. Um, but like with other card, with other decks, it's like they're more standard, so it's easy to be like, okay, if this card's good, we'll just put it in. You know, must for battle, good card, put it in. Whereas this one, it's like, where do you fit it in, in the weird uh, ar warlock archetype? Yeah, I guess you could play like a, a deck that plays uh, that Nerubin X Mistress, uh, like the Silent Storm Demon Lock, and just like make it a little bit more aggressive, a little, a little bit more mid range, maybe like put card draw and maybe like something like a loot order, just to like not have to repower, just. Like kind of a zoo, maybe not really, stuff like that. Um, the thing is, like, there's not enough cards that buff demons other than demon heart. So, um, yeah, I don't hate that card, but I, I don't see it fitting into the the current warlock decks right now. It's just not a good minion, like just on its own. Like a two four is not really worth it, even if it's like a three five on two bodies. It's like really like if you think about it, it's really similar to the like the what's called dragon ring. Dragon something technician, you get like a two four and a two one for four mana. It's uh, it's not that great because like the imp dies off really easily. If that would be like a three, three mana three five, that would be better. But, yeah. I think one mana less kind of helps though, just to uh, get. I it just out think there. the dragon ring. I just think the dragon ring technician is just way better than this card. Yeah, but this is, this is a yeah, demon, so maybe you can play it in. Some but, yeah, but the thing there. is, there's not that much demon synergy. That's what I said, right? There, there, are not that many cards that buff demons. It's only, like, the only synergizing cards is really Malganus and then the white collar. So it's not that many synergizing cards. And demon heart, maybe. All right, I have to ask Jordan, how much time do you have left? Um, I'll probably have to go, but I can say like the final thoughts about the rest of the stuff that's there, and then okay, we'll just we'll just rapid fire, uh, or because like, I think. Powder warm yeah. uh, woke up so we can like replace you. Uh, not, that oh, we, yeah. not that we want to replace you, but you don't need to anymore. <laughs> but uh, all right, so just give the thumbs up or thumbs out. Give your like just really just two second thoughts on Lava Shock, Nefarian, Ren Black, and then uh, Volcanic Drake. Ready? Lava Shock, go. Um, Lava, Lava Shock is good, I think. Um, okay. Might promote some kind of overload shaman, which we like kind of seen something like that, but I think this card might be really good, even one though thing, some people thing, say. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Next one. Okay. Uh, Nefarian. Nefarian is is like gonna be played in my videos a lot when you play when you get all the shittiest <laughs> spells possible, or something like you play it against a mage and he has like the strongest minion of the board and then you get uh, Ice Lance and then he's told with Ice Lance and then you kill him, finish him off with Nefarian. I think that might be really good, but I don't think we're gonna see this card in competitive play because there has been too many too spells that don't work. If you don't build decks around them, yep. kind of like you know, be mill druid or something, naturalize, and you know, every uh, every class has shitty spells. All right. So Red the next Black one hand. is the black hand dude. He's terrible, but we <laughs> might see him play. I don't know. Like depends on what the other legendaries are and how often they're going to mm. see him play. But otherwise, everyone's saying that this is a terrible card. It dies to BGH. I say it's a terrible card. You need to hold the dragon. It, it de destroys a legendary minion. And like the worst thing is, if you have a legendary minion on the board, you can't play this card because you have to destroy a minion. Oh my god. So yeah, if it, you can destroy your own legendary minion. So. <laughs> That's funny. Is another card? Like, right, like you, one, can't play, you can't play unless, like, if you have a legendary minion and your opponent doesn't, and you just want to play for board presence. You can't play because oh. you have to kill your own minion. I guess you have to play That's... other legendary than minion then. <laughs> just, yeah. don't, just don't have any legendaries. Oh, Alright, last one, Volcanic, Volcanic Drake. Volcanic uh, Drake is really good. I uh, said about that, uh, like, this is one of the reasons why I thought Dragon's Breath isn't that terrible, just because of this card. Maybe you can get some kind of synergy where you clean the board and then you come back. Uh, maybe it, it can be good against some kind of, like, rush decks. Because if you stop the first rush, you can then come back by playing other minions. Whereas, like you clear the board, and then you, the the opponent starts playing more and more minions, and you get overwhelmed because you don't have immediate answer. This time, you clear the board, and then you play this Drake. You have some board presence. I think it's really good. 
not not sure about arena but constructed i might see i think we might say this card a lot especially because it's a dragon yeah so yeah thanks yeah, I, for I, having I, me here guys thank you very <laughs> thank, much thanks Sheldon, for coming by it was awesome right. thanks for bringing your russian yeah. horde with you too yeah of course of course <laughs> my my russian horde is always welcome to you <laughs> all right awesome uh um, yeah it. No, you had. I mean, it's like awesome your opinions and this stuff. Uh, hopefully, we'll we, we'll catch you uh, next time. Maybe we can have a four person uh, thing for yeah. part two. Hopefully, but... it wasn't like my opinions weren't as terrible as I no, think they were. <laughs> we 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 loved your opinions. All right. Okay. Uh, I love your to opinions guys. too, guys. Bye. Aww. That's so <laughs> you. Love all around. All right. All all right. right. Later, children. Oh my god! Look at that picture. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna just shove uh, powder on here. Let me just hang up really quick, and then we'll call powder. Uh, hold on. Are you sure he's awake? He just he, he just messaged me like a second ago. Maybe I should have actually I am dead, but I didn't want to like screw up the the uh, Skype positioning. Turn on your webcam, by the way. Right. All right, so it's kind of oh. off, but if uh, Powder signs on, then it. Okay. Powder, Maybe... please. Powder, please. What are you doing with the light? <laughs> the light consumes for me. It... I got a window just behind my computer, guys. Okay, so we have we only have like four cards left. Yeah. Maybe Powder won't join us. I don't know. Whatever. Or he can look. He could just look handsome sitting there. Like, yeah. I think his portrait looks better than, or that picture looks better than he normally does. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's like a good picture. It's power to HSC third. Okay, here we go. Okay. Right. Just talk about the next card. All right. We don't well, know if Power's gonna join us, but um. Let's we're trying, guys. We're trying. Well, let, let me just. I have panel here. here. Trick panel assembled. All right. Okay. Um. So let's just like get to the next one, I guess. Uh, just me and Farmer will talk for now. Uh, we have Lava Shock, which is um. Uh, two mana. It's a shaman card. Deal two damage and unlock your overloaded mana crystals. And at first, I thought it was like, oh, that's kind of cool. You get rid of your your overloaded mana crystals. But it's like, I mean, best case scenario, it's like, well, I guess best case scenario, it costs like negative mana, right? But usually, it's gonna cost, if like usually in a good situation, it costs like basically zero mana. It's like zero mana, two damage. It's like, is that really good? I, I don't know. I don't see it. It just doesn't do enough, in my opinion. I actually don't hate that card. Like I thought about it, it's I think it's actually really good. It makes cards like Feral Spirit playable again, because like Feral Spirit right now, <laughs> like it used to be one of my favorite cards, but right now it's unplayable because like the Overlord really fucks you over. There's a lot of tempo, uh, tempo classes right now, and they just like take a really hard advantage of your Overlord. So that card deals two damage, plus you can. Use the overloaded crystals again, so it's actually really good. It's like most of the time, it's like pretty much like a zero mana spell, although it costs two mana because like most of the time it's gonna unlock more than one mana crystal. So I really like the card. Also, uh, makes Neptune less punishing. It also might bring stuff like Earth Elemental back. That just the cards that have three overload, and then that card is like minus one, like minus one mana, I guess. And deals two damage. Like, I think the the two damage part is like really important of the card. It's more the overload that you can remove. Cause like a shaman, shaman is a class that needs to be really efficient, and like really mana efficient and just card efficient. So because they don't normally play a lot of card draw, so they need to be really really uh, like on point with their removal. So I think that card could be really good. I think it's gonna be a one off if you play it. I don't think you're gonna play two of them. But uh, yeah, I don't I hate the card, and I, I actually think it's it's quite good, especially if you have something like a spell damage totem on the board. Like, I could say play like a spell damage totem, 
turn two, and then you have like Fell turn three, and then you have a turn four. They can play Lava Shock, take over three three, and just like something like a a, a Flame Tank totem or another totem, just something like that. So I don't hate that card. I think it's uh, I think it's pretty good, and yeah, it's just a fancy play. I think um, I don't know. I just I still kind of stick to my opinion of it. Doesn't uh, to, doesn't do enough. Like that's kind of been Shaman's. Um... Like the problem with shaman, right? Like they have all this cheap removal, um, but it doesn't actually like. At the end, at the end of the day, they're just like running out of cards, you know. Like they use their lightning bolt and their earth shock, and they get rid yeah. of this stuff, and then all of a sudden the other class just has more cards in them. Um, yeah, it might not, yeah, it might not be high impact enough, but it might be good in a uh, if you play something like a tempo, tempo shaman. But then again, you might play just another mech shaman, but it might be better. So yeah, we'll see. How much uh, play that card's gonna get? I think it's gonna be better if, like, if you play a control shaman with a lot of card draw, and then you have like the late game overdraw, um, overdraws, late game overloads with like a f um, earth elemental, and uh, Neptulon. So might be good for for that. This is kind of a tangent. Like, I think... This is kind of a tangent, but I think I was mentioning in some of my streams the other day, and like I think that. They kind of screwed up with the shaman overload mechanic because a lot of classes just have OP cards straight up. You know, like they're all, they just have really really good cards, and really the only OP card that shaman has is like fire elemental, like something you like that. That shaman is a good lot of good cards. You have hex. Yeah, I guess hex. But I mean, storm is also a good card. But as I just like minions in general, like Man I mean, tight, just like they don't have they don't have like a goblin blast mage. They don't have like an SA seven agent or an Aldor, You know. What is fire elemental? That's not a blast mage for you. Yeah, but that, that's the thing. That's the only one. That's the only one that they have. And like, instead of uh, oh yeah, yeah. Also, the thing I think you could see unbound again if you like play that card, because then like the overload is less punishing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but anyway, but like, so a lot of other classes just have OP cards, and they just say, okay, well, they're class cards, so they're OP. It's fine, right? But for Shaman, like, okay, this they said like this class is or this card is OP, so we're gonna overload it. And it just kind of works to the detriment of Shaman because, like, now they're just getting unfairly punished because they have this mechanic that's supposed to help them, but it's actually, like, kind of not really. Um... Yeah. I think uh, Feral Spirit needs an update. It's like, it used to be really, really good, but right now it's a tier 3. It's not that strong. So, even though yeah. you get two of them, exactly. right there, the overload is kind of retarded. It might be just better without the overload, just like one overload, maybe. Well, so, I think Power Maze was a really good addition to Shaman. That's a really good card. Yep. But yeah, that synergizes with the mech, so. Make make sure you normally don't play overload cards that much, other than crackle maybe, and then you don't really need the need the love of a shock. So yeah, we'll see. All right. Um, so uh, next card, uh, Trolled and gave his thoughts a little bit on it. Uh, Nefarian. It's the dragon, the legendary dragon. Nine mana, eight eight. It's battle cry. Add two random spells to your hand from your opponent's class. Um, he said it wasn't very good. What do you think? And that card, like that's gonna be the end boss of the whole adventure, right? So, like, like KT from the last one when the like, drums came out. So, mm -hmm. um, the KT ended up being like pretty good, though. Kind that's of. Gonna, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's gonna be the last card, right? That you're gonna get. So, you're gonna be adjusted at that point to, to the other black rock cards. And I think that card is actually gonna see play. Like I thought the first, first time I think thought about the card, I think it was like, ah, it's nine mana, eight eight. It's not really that good. Doesn't have an immediate impact, but then like I thought about it more. It's like two like two cards that your opponent doesn't know what like what those cards are is really really strong. There's only one other card in the like in the in the game that does that. That's thoughts you know, like yeah. It's also you from take... your opponents, but the thing is, it's, it's, it's from yeah, your yeah, it's from your opponent's deck, but like yeah, not, it's sorry. from your opponent's class, right? Doesn't like not always are you gonna get like great spells like just. Imagine you can play the card against Paladin, you get like two shitty secrets, but like, great. But essential healing. You can also get like two fireballs or just what if... consecrate, equality <laughs> consecrate. If you're... You can get like druid combo, like stuff like that. I think that card, I think nine mana eight eight is sketchy from the mana cost, but I think it you can you can see it instead of stuff like Alex Raza. I think it's gonna be a voyeur card if anything. Yeah, it's I think a so too. Big late game card, uh, voyeur Paladin. Priest, maybe. Um, those are the classes I can see it in. Maybe Shaman. But, yeah, if anything in those classes, um, yeah, I like, 
I don't hate the card, even, like, also it's a dragon, so it could synergize with the cards we talked about earlier, Corruptor and uh, Technician, so, yeah, yeah I, I don't hate it. I think, I think whenever this, this class, or this card has to be played with a class that is good at staying alive, you know, yeah. and it's kind of like, it needs, it's like, just super, it's like really good value, like, you get two cards, it almost doesn't matter what they are, like, you could just blink on one of them, and you're just like, well, you draw another card, um... Double corruption. <laughs> but, um, I, I just, yeah, I think it almost has to be warrior, um, or it's like just maybe the, another class can pop up, maybe like some sort of, you know, crazy, uh, greedy priest can pop up or something. Um, just think about how many shitty cards, like how many shitty spells are in the game. Like, imagine you get like circular healing and like a mind vision from that card against a priest tonight. Mind vision. Mind, Actually, mind vision mind, might be okay because you just use that for mana and take one of their. Where... Yeah, like, mind just, I don't even know. Extra burst. Then again, you could get a mic control from the card, or like a light bomb, or holy fire. Just like good cards. But the fact I that did. one of the that the only one of the only classes right now that we see it being viable in being warrior, um, it kind of makes you think like how viable is dragon warrior? Would be something to look at. Anyway, I think like if you think about it, like uh, I like I said earlier, right? Like the crusher, and the corruptor and the technician, all like all those cards I can see in Warrior, like because um, they're anti-aggro, they're good bodies on the board. Like I can see those cards in Warrior. Uh, mightn't be the the dominating archetype of Warrior, but it might be an alternative to what we have right now. Like the Dragonite Crusher could be a replacement for Shield Maiden, uh, stuff like that. So mm. we'll we'll see. Maybe like budget Warrior for all the people who don't have that. <laughs> budget Warrior. Um, Arena's probably pretty good. Uh, I think, oh, that card is going to be awesome in Arena, but, like, every Legendary is pretty much awesome in Arena, so, yeah. Alright, next one. Ren, the Black Hand. Uh, 7 mana, 8-4. Uh, Battlecry, if you're holding a dragon, destroy a Legendary minion. Um... You want to start yeah. out on this one? Or... I'm gonna, I'm gonna agree with Trollden and just say, it's like, first of all, he, he's, he pointed out that you have to destroy your own legendary if it's on your side and although it could there is i saw in chat there was like there's sort of sylvanas uh synergy there <laughs> you could just like like attack with sylvanas into something and then kill your own sylvanas but i think it's just it three legendaries you have you have sylvanas on the board that card in hand and another legendary in hand. <laughs> wait do you, do you not get to pick which one is it it doesn't say destroy random it just says destroy uh i think you get to pick yeah, you get to pick. Uh, I mean, I need the dragon. I'm, I think you need two, three cards to pull it off, right? You need a dragon, you need a Savannah's on the board, and you need... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, to, yeah, to pull the combo off, you're right, right, okay. Um, but, yeah, it just, it dies to eviscerate. It dies to, like, the, the flame, whatever that, that card was. The, flame the No, the Flame Waker? No, what, what's oh, it called? Dragon's Breath? Yeah, Dragon's Breath. It dies to Dragon's Breath for potentially zero mana. swipe. That's the truth, Heavy. It just it's the worst it's card. Everything. <laughs> it's the worst card that got released in the whole game. Just it dies so to one eyed cheat. <laughs> it's it's the worst card that got released in the whole game. Like that card is just the worst card. Like, that's just <laughs> that's just Blizzard trolling. It's like let's put in that card from the fucking World of Warcraft just because it's name apparently in the lore. Just like put that card in. Make him terrible stats. Make him have a terrible battle cry. Make him have a... Like, it's like, look at that card. You have, it's 7 mana, 8, 4. It's almost a double BGH. Like, BGH is 4, 2, 4, 3 mana. Like, it's more than double. Like, just the stats are doubled. The mana is more than doubled. And it does pretty much the same. It just And, like, and you have to have something on in your hand for it to work. And you might, like, it's just a... Just play okay. the game, honey. Just if, so if, much better. That okay, wait, wait, so okay. Terrible. If there wasn't a condition, it was just if it's Battlecry was just destroy terrible. a legendary. Battlecry destroy a legendary. It's still terrible. It's like Hammond Nessing very terrible. Yeah, but Hammond Nessing very is like like you almost know your opponent's gonna play a legendary. Like every almost every, like even Mech Mage plays Antonitis and Doctor Boo. Um, then he can fucking kill a stupid Thanos for seven mana. Great. <laughs> such 
terrible card. Like, what if you? If what thing, if you? That thing at least have add like a good body, but like if it would be like a five eight, like that would be acceptable. Like, but like an eight four really? Like, it you dies kill, to kill it, like, it dies to swipe. It dies. <laughs> uh, like okay, I it counter number one. First of all, we have we have a comment in the chat saying pretty sure Cobra Shot is worse than Ren, and I would I would have to agree with that. <laughs> Cobra Shot's probably no. worse. Cobra Shot is better than that card. <laughs> oh no. Better. It deals three damage to the face. It actually does something without you having to pay more than five mana. Okay, I think I think it's, it's too damage. conditional. I just think it's that too conditional. Yeah, um and the only it's not way... even good. Like it's not even good if you have that. Like they kill the Karen and then it's okay. like, great. What kind of stats would it need to have? Chiefs. What kind of stats would it need to have for you to play it? Like 5 8 maybe? Or 7? And without a condition? That would be playable. It would be actually really OP if you think of like a 5 8 for 7. Alright, what, what's, what's, the, what's the line where it like barely crosses it where you would put it in like like a fourth of your decks? Like you'd sometimes play it. Like a 4 5 4 7 without four, condition? Five? Dude, four, 8 4 is better than 4 5. Like four, like, no, no. I mean, like eight four is worse than four five, without condition. Like this, like without condition here. Like, oh yeah. I, I guess, let's forget about the condition. Like I guess if you play a dragon, <laughs> like, you can play that card. But if it's like a seven mana, like a, I don't know, four five, it's like if you get to seven mana five, it's like it's just like a OP Guardian of Kings, it's just like destroy yeah, I think, legendary. I think the biggest thing is like even if you get it, if even if you get it to work. It's probably gonna be stuck in your hand so long that you fall behind in tempo and, and value potentially in the first place. Okay, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just explaining. Exactly. And then you saw if you fall so far behind in tempo and value in the first place that the the tempo plus value you gain back isn't worth it uh, because it's gonna be stuck in your hand for so long uh, trying to get the value. Anyway, let's go to our last card. Um, by the way, these were in alphabetical order. That's why. Uh, Volcanic Drake, six mana, six four. Costs one less for each minion that died this turn. This is the um, other card that's been released so far that has to do with how many minions that have died this turn. By the way, do you know if this turn includes their turn too? Like, like this no, turn. It's only gonna be your turn. It's only gonna okay. be your turn. Pretty sure. Yeah. Unless, uh, unless you have like, I don't know. So if you make one there's trade, there's a card that drops a card out of your hand, and that no, it doesn't matter. I guess. No, whatever. Never mind. I think this this card um, you can go either way. I think like because six for six minutes six four is actually like if you can't get the cost reduction, it's pretty bad. If you get one uh, guy to die at six minutes five minutes six four, which is like okay. I think I think you'd rather have a five five. Yeah, um, but it's still okay. And like it's, and it's okay. If you go down four mana, it's really good. And four mana six four, but then there's like there's things like Tall Strider, which is a five four. I think the biggest thing about this is that's a dragon. It's like it's kind of like okay, but it's a dragon. That's kind of like what it. Like if you can, maybe you can get a crazy turn off of it, but um, you can you can just get crazy value off of like a. So it's gonna be rather like easy to remove, wing. even if you like get it for like three mana. Yeah. Because it's only four HP. Like that's like the the line. Like four HP, five HP, five HP is gonna get hard. Like it's gonna get harder to remove in the like first four to five turns. Uh, so a guy in the chat says, or a girl in the chat, I think uh, Volcanic Drake should be pretty good in Zoo. Just drop a lot of low-cost minions and trade them all in. That kind of makes sense. It's like, you just you do a lot of trading in Zoo. Like, what if you get like a 2-mana 6-4, you know? Uh, just two trades. Yeah. It could be okay in Zoo, but then again, you can draw it in the, in the early game. Then you don't get the minions on the board, and then it's just going to cost 6-mana all game. And it's like... What about Imp Master Synergy? Just Imp... Or not Imp Master, um, what's it called? Imp Implosion. Gang Boss? No, Implosion. Implosion synergy, um, you just run four guys in, <laughs> and then you kill one guy, yeah, and that's one like, mana. Something like that, something like Master for Battle, something like yeah, Master for Battle. Unleash, Unleash, maybe. Yeah, um, I think I think you have to specifically try to build a deck that allows this to work, but then I think if you build a deck... I think it's not good enough for it to build a deck around it. Like, yeah, that's true, that's true. If it, that's, four that's health, the like, if it would have five health, I think it would be good enough. Yeah, the problem is that like a lot of the dragons are really expensive, so it's hard to build a deck that is both dragon based and gets value off of this card. I think that's the biggest thing that people will run into. And so. does and does get shit out of mech mage. Because like the, the like every every like 
every fear of decks that are reliant on having board control are just hard hardcore aggro decks like or hardcore board control aggro decks like zoo like mech mage like the opponent of all those cards where you have to have they have to kill minions um and then play the the minions for cheaper is going to be like control decks because you most of the time you're going to trade like the all the other thing you have to remove minions as aoe damage so you have to and I'll kill a lot of minions with your Consecration or your Flame Strike or whatever and then play the Drake as follow-up. It can happen from time to time, but I don't think it's good enough to build a deck around that card, to be honest. Maybe it would be like a 6-5. Six, 6-6 six, six maybe, I don't know. Yeah, I think... Okay, like a six, so... 6-6-7, six, then the yeah. same effect. Alright, so let's let's just go, like, kind of review. I think... I think the they're obviously trying to make us like play dragons, right? That's like the theme of this. I think the best, um, I think if you're gonna build a dragon deck and like the the most powerful cards you can put in that dragon deck, I think are the uh, the black wing corruptor and the black wing technician, which are just yeah. like I mean three five or three, and a and a five like a mini fire elemental or just a kind of slightly smaller fire elemental is pretty good. So and like pretty swinging. Most consistent cards, I think those two. Yeah. So yeah. I think I think you can. Like, so if you put those two cards in your deck, maybe you put a couple uh, fairy dragons for early game. You put a couple of Zura drakes, a couple of twilight drakes, um, and then like, what would what what dragon would you put in other than those cards? Like, maybe maybe you don't even play those cards. Maybe you can't fit in the uh, fairy dragons. Too shitty. Um, what would you? What would you? What kind of maybe, card would you put in? Maybe a dragon right. sorcerer. Maybe the sorcerer. Yeah, I was thinking about maybe the hungry dragon. And then, like, stuff like Azure Drake, always good with those kind of tempo cards, because you want the card draw, and then you probably need, like, early game, just, like, class related. I think those, that kind of deck can be, like, if you want to build that kind of deck, I think Paladin is the way to go. Because mm. um, you have good early game now with, like, uh, the Shield Mini Bot, Knife Juggler, Master. You have enough early game to, like, just fend off aggression, and then you can trade minions in, play your all, all minions for cheaper. Um, just like draw cards with Azure Drakes, stuff like that. I think can be really good. Or yeah, that turn, can be good. turn three muster for battle. Turn four hungry dragon. Yeah, off, stuff like that. Kill off the, the need, guy. Yeah, might not even need to play like quartermaster. Just play the dragons instead. Just stuff like that. So yeah, maybe we'll just see something like that. Oh, so wait, hold on. Let me think about this. So you play turn three quartermaster. You turn four hungry dragon. Then you kill the one drop, and then you run your three guys into uh, two of their minions, and then you play a free uh, volcanic drake, and then you have a six oh, four, a five cost, six. So it costs one if you trade five minions. You kill one of their, so you kill the one drop, and then you throw your three guys in, and then for some reason your three guys traded with two guys, there. Oh, <laughs> and yeah, then random have three one ones as well. <laughs> and now, six, and now you have the dream. Now you have a six four and a five six on turn four. Zero, four. <laughs> then you got equality consecrated. <laughs> yeah, but it's still but the yeah. same amount of cards. Yeah, could be good. Um, I think the Paladin is the way to go if you want to play those cards. Um, I think Priest is also okay. I think Warrior could be good. But I think because mm, you can kind of like that could yeah, be your mid game just have a few dragons and then you go like a couple late game dragons with the, the yeah, I don't think Warrior is enough yeah I guess Warrior maybe because you have the Warrior yeah, and instead of just take out the Bomb Lobber and put in a, put in the uh, Black Green Corruptor and then just snipe yeah. the stuff off yeah I think you would play, would play Black Wing and the Warrior though I think we should still, still play Belcher. I think Belcher is still better than Warrior and fight behind like armor smiths um because <coughs> warrior has that single target removal with like execute shield slam uh war axe death by you have enough single target removal so i don't think that card would be that good in warrior i think uh during consortium hunger dragon technician would be better in warrior um than just the five four buddy i think that that could be possible like if you want to play a dragon warrior i think it's definitely possible i think warrior and paladin are your ways to go to that. And well, we could have some pretty OP class cards. You never know. Uh, we've seen one warrior card, oh, yeah. one hunter, one rogue, two mage, which or like mage didn't get the greatest cards other than uh, the the three mana two four was okay. Uh, one warlock and one shaman. So we're probably gonna oh. see the same amount of cards each, 
So we're probably going to see yet. one more. Not oh, we're going to see. Sorry. Not priest yet. Not paladin. Yeah, we're going to see two priests, two paladin. We're going to see one more warrior, one more hunter, one more rogue, one more shaman, one more warlock. What am I missing? Um. And uh, what? One second. One or two more druid. Druid, druid yeah. And uh. Yeah. Yeah, that's much it. it. All right, so yeah. that'll, those will be. That's like it's pretty much all class cards left then, because there's only fourteen left. Yeah, we still have uh, I think uh, three legendaries left. I think it's gonna be five legendaries in total. Mm. Gonna come out. Um, I read something like that there's not gonna there's not gonna be any epics in the. Um, in the things by the way, it's gonna be five legendaries mm. and then a couple of rares and commons, but no epics. All right, so uh, we're gonna wrap it up. And um, we have 14 more cards left. Uh, stay tuned for Black Rock Mountain, a Hearthstone Adventure card review part two. Um, not really sure who the guests will be there for that time. Probably me, Farmir, maybe Powder, maybe Trolden. We'll see. And uh, yeah, it'll be after those cards come out on the second. We'll probably. Um, no, I think they're going to come, come out on Monday. They're going to reveal all. There's going to be a stream on Monday. Uh-huh. Uh With all the like. Some bizarre people playing like on stream. With the new oh, okay, cards, okay, so. okay. So that's <laughs> might do that like Tuesday or All right, So Wednesday. after the so on the thirtieth or the thirty first, uh, maybe the first, uh, we'll come out with that. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for stopping by. Um, I'll be posting this on my YouTube channel, which I don't have a really good channel name. There's no like YouTube.com/slash D2, but we're working on it. Um, but uh, go go follow me on Twitter, and you can uh, see when that comes up. Follow Fire me as well. Well, children, I guess, says two, and fall apart, powder, just because you like Swedish people. Um, <laughs> all right. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Goodbye. All right. See you guys.